Hey, Sidhu fans, I'm Jonathan, Sidhu Specialist. We're here today to walk you through how to change the oil on your Sidhu personal watercraft. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to always get the latest Sea-Do how-do content and insider info. So let's get started. Here are the tools and products you'll need. A manual fluid extractor, an oil change kit for your Rotax 900 Ace or 1630 Ace engine, a drain pan, an E8 external torque socket and socket wrench, a torque wrench, a funnel and some rags. The XPS oil change kit is great because it has everything you need to complete this job in one box, including the right amount of 5W40 synthetic oil. If you're not using the XPS oil change kit, consult your operator's guide for the proper oil and filter specifications for your model. For starters, make sure your sea personal watercraft is on a level surface and the trailer tires are firmly choked. Use the trailer jack to level if necessary. Then, you'll want to warm up the engine following the exhaust flushing instructions found in your operator's guide. Remove the seat and engine access cover and look for any signs of oil or coolant leaks before starting the engine. Remember, never run your engine without supplying water to the exhaust system and never run it for more than two minutes at a time. You'll want to repeat the warm up process two times, letting the drive shaft cool down for five minutes between each cycle. For C2 Spark and Spark Trix models, it's not necessary to remove the seat. You can access the oil fill cap with the access hatch on the right rear of the Sea-Doo personal watercraft and the oil filter from the left hand access panel. Rather than draining the old oil like you would from a car or truck, we're going to use the manual fluid extractor to extract the old oil from the engine. Remove the oil fill cap and dipstick and place one end of the fluid extractor hose into the dipstick opening. If you're working on a Rotax 900 Ace engine, you'll want to insert the extraction tube 400 millimeters or 15.75 inches. With a Rotax 1630 Ace engine, you'll insert the tube 475 millimeters or a little more than 18 and a half inches. As a quick tip, measure the end of the tube to be inserted and quickly mark the proper distance with a piece of tape. If needed, place the other end of the fluid extractor into your catch pan or container. An old empty oil jug works great for this if you don't have a catch pan. Proceed to extract the old oil in your catch pan or container. Remove the extractor hose from the dipstick tube and reinstall the fill cap and the dipstick. Fully depress the throttle lever and hold it while pressing the start button to crank the engine for 10 seconds. Siphon the oil again. Repeat the crank siphon cycle two to three times to ensure all the old oil is removed. With the old oil extracted, you can remove the oil filter. Remove the oil filter cover. On most models, there's just one bolt. However, if you have a C2 spark, there are three bolts to remove. Be careful not to drop them into the hull. Set the bolts aside and discard the old O-ring from the filter cap. 900 Ace engines will have just one O-ring. The 1630 Ace engines will have two O-rings that you'll replace. Carefully remove the old oil filter. Wipe the filter cover so it's clean and free of any old oil and debris. Inspect the oil filter housing for dirt and other contaminants and clean if required. On Ace 1630 engines, inspect the oil filter cover screw O-ring. Replace if required. Insert the new oil filter into place with the rubber end down. With your new O-rings, you want to lightly oil them with a little bit of fresh oil so it secures in place properly. Place the new O-rings into position and reinstall the oil filter cap. In saltwater areas, it is recommended to coat the mating surface of the cover with grease. Torque the oil filter cover screws to the required specifications. Now it's time to fill your personal watercraft with fresh oil. If you got a 900 Ace engine, you'll fill it through the dipstick tube. On a 1630 Ace, you'll fill it at the oil fill location. Your XPS oil change kit comes with the proper amount of oil to refill your engine. And if you're not using the oil change kit, refer to the operator's guide for the proper quantities. Once filled, replace the dipstick of your oil fill cap. Using the same engine warm-up procedure, run the engine for 30 seconds and check the oil levels. Adjust as required. Reinstall the engine access cover and seat, and you're ready to get back to your favorite sea do adventures. As always, don't forget to dispose of your used oil and filter responsibly. If you need help locating an oil dump station near you, contact your local municipality. 
thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below for more Sea-Doo owner tips. You can also find more great content in the owner zone section of the Sea-Doo website. We'll see you on the water.